conservatism would appear to be at play, Peter. However, we don't quite know what their motives are just yet. It could well be as it looks, but it might also be a way of deceiving the opposition into thinking that they're just going to sit back and then hope to produce an aggressive counter-attack or two. This system can accommodate that, and I certainly hope we're going to get something positive in response, and it's not going to be all defence. So it's down to business here. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Miralem Pjanic. He plays in that deep midfield position, Peter, which allows him to take his time to, to pick out a pass to the forward line. He also delivers a, a fantastic set piece, something that his manager had in mind when making the signing, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. And a header! It's there! Well, if that was their intention pre-match, let me tell you, it's worked out very nicely. I think for the skipper to chip in with a goal, too, is a bonus. But this game has already taken on a real attacking edge, and, and long may that continue. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Bosnia and Herzegovina go ahead, one goal to the good. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. And here's Dzeko. And helps available out wide. Carries far too far and out of play. Oh, sweet feet. And here's Checo. It's in. 2-0, and they're already threatening to run riot. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the 